All right, today I'm going to be showing you the oft-maligned R-Zone Super Screen. All right, the screen pops up. Like so this thing is kind of a beast. It takes four D-cell batteries. So I'll zoom in and give you a look at the controls here. Pretty standard. D-pad, on, start, select, sound off and on, pause game, and off for the entire console. And you've got your A, B, C, and D buttons, which control your actions. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. This is backlit with a 6-volt, <clears throat> a uh, 0.75-amp bulb. Uh, I believe it's 4.5 watts. And I'm going to go ahead and start the game. And with the select button, you'll see we can select our different characters. Uh, not much changes on them. This was pretty much the best Tiger had at the time. Alright, let's go ahead and select our character. So we'll hit, uh, let's take this guy. We'll hit start. Alright, so you'll see these top buttons here. Can uh, control our sword. And this is our kick. Alright, we can crouch. We can jump. And we can move back out of the way of the hit. It's pretty simple. Uh, this is Battle Arena Toshinden, which was bundled with the super screen that I bought. I believe that this was from 1996. The charger it takes is a 9 volt, 1 amp DC charge. And I'll show you the polarity of that in a moment. Alright. I'll go ahead and shut it off. On the back here, this is a this is a focus button, uh, which I wish I had on this camera. Uh, focus wheel, so you can adjust the focus of your image. Uh, this is where the cartridge is input. This one is Battle Arena Toshinden. And get this to focus. So you'll see that with this cartridge, you can see the background, uh, really the light just filters through this, this film, and the internals here create the image of the fighters and their actions. So just as I said, it says 1996, Tiger Electronics, uh, it's 6 volt DC. At, looks like it says six watts. Uh, four four D batteries or LR twenties, and the adapter is nine volt DC one amp. There's your polarity right there. Uh, overall, this is an interesting, um, I guess, tabletop. It's not really a handheld. It's pretty large, um, but uh, it's a cool cool piece of history to uh, to have. And uh, if you can find one under probably 50 bucks, I'd say scoop it up. Uh, thanks for watching.